do this, uh, we are basically uh, looking at uh, um, uh, the, the curricula of uh, uh, school education. We did a um, feasibility study in 2012 looking at uh, curricula in, uh, in Italy, because it's a European system, so it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on on uh, the European system. We did it on, uh, in South Africa, just uh, reviewing how the primary school system works. And, um, and now uh, we would like uh, to focus with a new project that we are currently implementing on uh, South African curricula. The reason we are focusing on uh, South Africa is because uh, um, we, are, we have a project supported uh, by uh, uh, research funds uh, in, uh, in Switzerland and South Africa. And uh, South Africa is a very interesting case study. Uh, South Africa uses 11 uh, languages in, uh, in education. And uh, it would be lovely to actually see some images. But <laughs> okay, let's see if we can uh, also create your online. Just to shake you a little bit, sorry for this uh, a very not working presentation. But um, basically, what we are currently doing, we had a meeting uh, um, uh, two days ago in, uh, in Cape Town with a group of uh, people working in education and asking, uh, okay, how uh, Wikipedia can be relevant for you? Uh, do you think uh, having articles related to your curricula can be, can be interesting? And the reply was very positive. The impression is for teachers can be useful. Uh, obviously, Wikipedia will remain uh, always an encyclopedia, so it's not a school book. It's where you can eventually find more information. It can be relevant for teachers also in local languages, because a lot of the uh, primary school uh, education happens uh, in uh, local languages. And in particular in South Africa, you use uh, all the 11 languages. So having uh, information, particularly on uh, science and uh, social uh, sciences, it's relevant because it allows you to um, it allows you to also uh, understand better the, uh, a topic before uh, teaching it to your students. So we, um, you can find on the uh, Meta, uh, we're going to go in there, um, the Wikipedia Primary School Project. Just a pilot in South Africa and uh, the question is, is can this idea of uh, increasing content related to primary school be implemented in other African countries? Because uh, having, uh, filling this gap of knowledge, uh, making sure that there are the rivers of Cameroon, that uh, the main cities of uh, Kenya are there, making sure the general articles about uh, uh, science are covered, and also there are technical problems on Wikipedia. For example, does the summary summarize the article? So you can have a beautiful article about temperature and heat, but uh, maybe there is no summary, or the summary is very mm, uh, not inclusive. So the person that arrives on Wikipedia doesn't really find the information he's looking for. Also, is the article understandable? Is it written in a language that a high school kid can understand? This is a, um, Wikipedia is meant to be uh, uh, written in a style that a person with a high school level can understand. But it's not always the case. Also, does the title correspond to the content? This is another issue. Sometimes you have uh, articles like the climate, that they don't talk about what is the climate, which are the different climates around the world. It talks about uh, how you measure climate. So that, that content should be moved to an article that is measuring climate. So um, uh, also issues related to how long is the article. Is it uh, too long so it's difficult to be uploaded on a, um, from a mobile phone. So this is a, uh, I think, provides
providing on Wikipedia the information necessary to complete the cycle of primary education in languages used by the different education system kind of provides an idea of uh, what is our aim. So it's uh, focused on content, uh, it's focused on uh, the defining the gaps and filling them. Of course, there is also a transverse nature of the project because there are articles that are relevant in you know, different uh, uh, educational system, um, certain science. Of course, we want articles about the world, the continent, uh, the human body. But uh, are those articles well written? Are those articles, uh, as I said, uh, with a summary that is understandable? Do they present examples from the world, which is another topic? Sometimes we have uh, seasons, and winter is explained as uh, uh, winter in Switzerland, not really winter in uh, South Africa. So uh, understanding that uh, how, and, and those are also uh, issues that are completely uh, within the Wikipedia rules. We believe our articles need to be neutral and need to provide an international um, approach. So this is basically the aim. Um, can you please go on? Uh, yes, you can control it. project is that it links uh, uh, quite uh, relevantly to other, um, other projects currently implemented. Um, so the distribution of uh, Wikipedia offline with QX, the possibility of accessing Wikipedia on mobile phones. So the idea is uh, let's see how we can uh, actually bridge those uh, um, new uh, interfaces and new possibilities for Wikipedia and make them relevant for a target. Um, this is also an idea of how the project can be structured uh, bottom-up. So, um, if uh, in any country is it possible to collect information about the curriculum, uh, creating an article about education in that country obviously allows to understand how the system can be done, can be implemented. And, uh, and the idea is uh, involving also community related to, um, to education to make sure we take advantage of the existing resources. Um, I think also from a, a language point of view can be a really relevant uh, um, a topic like this. Yesterday we were listening about uh, uh, the different dimension of uh, Wikipedia in, uh, in our 200, more than 280 languages. But the reality is that uh, those Wikipedians are often also a, an educational tool for people learning a language. They, they do represent a lot of different things. They're not necessarily a tool used uh, for a target group. It's not necessarily an encyclopedia that is so used. And improving the quality of a, a selection of articles can be relevant for a target group. So it can be a way also to make those encyclopedia um, something, something new, something more developed, or something that can check also if it works or not. Um, at the moment, um, what has been done so far is in Cameroon, there have been uh, um, uh, Guillaume and Duallard have been working in uh, have, uh, having access to uh, curricula. Uh, this is quite a challenging issue because uh, um, in, uh, in a lot of countries, in the majority of the country of the world, uh, primary education is an exam. So it's something you need to take to be able to get your driving license, uh, accessing uh, further education. So it is uh, actually an, an exam that you need to take. So we wanted to look at uh, which questions are asked at the exam and checking if those questions are also available on Wikipedia. So uh, in Cameroon, they had access to the last 10 years of uh, those exams. You can find them on Wikimedia Commons and on Wikisource, and uh, uh, they were translated, they were uh, transliterated, and uh, so copied, basically. And you can find them also on uh, Wikiversity. Um, and uh, in, uh, for South Africa, it's much easier because you can access all the documentation online for the curriculum. So I think I'm, I'm done. I'm good. I don't know if you have any question about uh, uh, the Wikipedia primary school. Uh, maybe uh, another relevant uh, uh, thing I just wanted to mention, uh, the review. Uh, Wikipedia is a peer-reviewed uh, encyclopedia. This is the reality of the fact. Uh, if you look at it, maybe it can sound a paradox from an academic perspective, but if you look at the Star Trek article, this is like the craziest uh, peer-reviewed article. You have a huge community always double-checking if the content is uh, relevant, is correct, uh, is working. So, um, the peer review system of Wikipedia is also something that allows the community to really improve uh, a topic. 
But on uh, issues related to Africa, often you have one or two people working on the topic, so you don't get this review. You don't get this community double checking the content. So how do we get a community around the topic? So it can be done in different ways. You can activate wiki projects, you can uh, involve uh, experts and say what you think about the article. But what we wanted to test uh, is uh, the use of uh, peer-reviewed academic uh, and scientific journals. Um, this is an, uh, an experience that has been done already with uh, PLOS, which is a scientific uh, uh, journal. And uh, they created a session in PLOS for Wikipedia articles. So they created a peer review system within their uh, the journal. And this is also a technique that can be interesting to target a new user group without asking them to gain skills on Wikipedia, but to make sure that they can contribute also indirectly to the content of Wikipedia by creating an article. Three remarks. Uh, I mean, one that the last you mentioned. Um, uh, yeah, it's uh, it is a quality, it is a problem on a number of uh, topics which are marginal for the majority of users and editors, because you find heaps and heaps in, on, on English Wikipedia where there's nothing uh, uh, neutral or whatsoever, uh, because uh, hardly anybody is editing, and the one guy who edited. Uh, is writing what he writes, and that's it. Uh, and that's that's uh, um, that's a lot. And on uh, African uh, topics, I think um, there is no way to change this until there's really larger numbers of people on the internet and also having the time uh, um, uh, to to look for information. What nowadays many are not doing, as we discussed already. So I think the, 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 the chance I see is in certain areas try to create something like islands of, of quality review, wherever it's possible, wherever there's a community. I don't think uh, it's much use trying to think how do we do this for Africa. Uh, either it will come or it will not come, but uh, wherever the, there are groups, maybe it seems here in South Africa there's a number of people who can, who can say, okay, we concentrate on something. Or maybe wherever you have people who say, okay, we want, uh, let's make a portal for our country. We are three, four people who are interested. Uh, then you have a chance of getting content in, uh, content in and, and also uh, um, defending changes against what we also discussed yesterday when, when people from Europe or, or America are starting to, to throw out information which has been put in by users here. If you had a, uh, something like a, like a, what's it called, a portal, uh, for a country or for a special country related topic that you have a user community there which can help keeping it in. Okay, that's one remark. So, wherever there is something where substance create, create, uh, 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 try to create islands of quality and otherwise let's wait and see that time is changing the situation. Um, now, um, you talked about um, the quality, uh, the problem of using Wikipedia articles in schools. I mean, I've, I've been, uh, I've been putting students when I uh, when teaching at school for several years, um, told them to take information from internet, also from Wikipedia, and it's true that, um, well, my experience, for example, middle uh, stage, like class eight, nine, seven. Uh, don't like to look into Wikipedia. Uh, when it was German students in Germany, they would always go to, to, to other websites because there they found the, the information easier. Because the, uh, there, there are many articles who are, who are not well to read because too many, too many puzzle pieces have been put together and it's really difficult to find. And so, okay, uh, good idea if you have the substance and the, and the, and the power to, to do redactions on on uh, school selection topics. But then, of course, the other question, I don't know, you didn't mention it. I, I wonder, uh, when, when students in some country tell you, I don't find it from answer for my questions here, it could have to do with the article in Wikipedia, but it could have to do with the school culture, because it depends what kind of uh, 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 answers for what kind of questions they are looking for. I mean, I, I think in school cultures where you have 
only close questions where there is no, uh, uh, where you just have to find a very specific answer for a question only aiming towards, towards this one type of answer, it will be difficult finding anything by, uh, uh, on the internet. Uh, you have to take it from your book where you have the answer which is considered correct. And if the, the school culture uh, is not open and encouraging some research and, and finding different views and things like this, uh, I imagine uh, it will not be worthwhile to, to make much input there and to, to, to give them a Wikipedia version because it just uh, it will not help the students because they have to find this answer as it is written there, if possible. Because the teacher, maybe, maybe the teacher will even not accept a different wording, a much different wording uh, from, from what's uh, in his, in his uh, uh, list. also from uh, a review of the Cameroonian school books. And we made it very clear. We, maybe Wikipedia would not provide the right answer. In the school book that I was reviewing in Cameroon, there is the session about races. So the chapter says, in the world, there are three races. There are the white, the black, and the yellows. And the yellows are the most numerous. So I'm quite sure that a Wikipedia will not answer correctly to the question races, because you're going to find on Wikipedia something much different. And I don't think this is a problem, because uh, the reason why we do also this, this project comes from the necessity of doing something, and um, because we are, we are indeed distributing Wikipedia as an educational tool. So we wanted to make it better as an educational tool. But we don't work for government, we don't work for the, the questionnaire. And the reality is that education is always an ideological and political tool through which you build your citizen. So when you look at the school book, find that it's a strongly ideological, the way you want to shape uh, the, the way children think and uh, how you organize chapter and uh, which emphasis you put on the colonialism of France or Germany. For example, in uh, the Cameroonian school book, you find it very clearly that German colonialism is uh, it's all the negative and uh, uh, French colonialism is no, it's uh, it brought progress. <laughs> so it's how you create an atmosphere within a country. So the project doesn't want to link to this. Uh, what it wants to do is to create though, a, a content, uh, well, obviously we are only extracting a big topic. I think it's also uh, important to mention that uh, our goal is not to target children. Uh, Wikipedia is too complicated for children. You can of course have uh, other Wikipedia that are simplified English or Wikipedia that are meant to target uh, children, they exist. But this is not our goal. Our goal is that since Wikipedia is already distributed, let's try to make it better. And uh, I think, from my perspective, I have two children that will start primary school uh, just in, uh, in a few weeks. And uh, to me, what is interesting is that you create an uh, uh, educational tool, something that is better for everyone. So of course, uh, you can uh, respond better to the question of a, a kid in, uh, in Kenya, maybe, or the teacher of this child, or the parents of this child in Kenya. But to me, you represent uh, better knowledge for anyone. So I don't think uh, the target of this project is to improve it just for a, a niche. We are not uh, uh, also planning to do any selection of uh, articles on Wikipedia. We want to provide Wikipedia with Star Trek because we think that at the end uh, this is also what people want about it. The, the large amount of content you can access is the beauty of it. Um, and also uh, I think another important thing is that we are doing, we are really creating an artificial system. So uh, this project doesn't rely, rely on the fact that volunteers should be checking curricula. Volunteers should just uh, write about the topics they love. So, uh, but the point is, uh, if we don't have volunteers doing it, maybe we can do it artificially, so try, try to inject some energy and some work on it to see if we can help the, the, the tool to actually produce content that are interesting also for others. This means not breaking the rules, so the objective is absolutely not to impose content because it doesn't work on Wikipedia in any case, but also try to trigger ways uh, to do it. So of course you can engage uh, communities that exist, for example in topics related to natural science, uh, there are communities that are interested in this topic, they do exist, so they can contribute on these uh, uh, aims quite uh, easily. There might be not many contributors in other topics, but then uh, maybe you can activate uh, other people outside. Uh, 
my goal is not to produce uh, new editors of Wikipedia. I don't care. I, it's not my, I'm not the Wikimedia Foundation. I have no obligation. It's not a, a strategic objective for me. I, even if uh, Wikipedia dies uh, after tomorrow, for me it's not a problem because I'm doing it for the content. Uh, since it's uh, open content, content can be moved somewhere else. And to me it's fine. So I, I don't defend Wikipedia in itself. This is not my problem. Not because I don't care, but simply because uh, it's not my mission, it's not my goal. But I think uh, uh, creating system, uh, I, and also the fact that I don't, my aim is not to produce new contributors, uh, means that I can do things differently. So I don't need to have people learning to do, use a wiki. If you can contribute creating a text, putting this text with a compatible life license with Wikipedia, and tell the Wikipedia, do you need it? Do you want it? Does, uh, is it useful? And you can do it absolutely outside Wikipedia. You will not have metrics of new contributors on Wikipedia. You will not have metrics of edit counts. But who cares? If the content, uh, uh, who cares for me? I mean, in, in this project, we don't have it as an objective. The objective is to improve the content, so we can do it also in different ways.